Roads and cars swamped as Cyclone Tasha strikes the far north. Some buildings torn apart while others escape damage. Oh, the daylight. Look up in the daylight, that's all. Presents and parties turn the wet Christmas gloom around. And Ricky Ponting declared fit for the fourth Ashes test. This is My News with Sylvia Jeffries. Good evening and Merry Christmas. I'm sure it has been for most of you, but not all those in the state's far north. Their Christmas morning was interrupted by tropical cyclone Tasha, which crossed the coast as a Category 1 system between Cairns and Innisfail. It's caused problems across the region, including Hinchinbrook Island, where there are concerns for two groups of bushwalkers who didn't return yesterday afternoon. Reporters Andrew Truen and Ashley McDermott are in, in some of the worst affected areas. Firstly to Andrew and Cairns. How are things there, Andrew? Yes, Sylvia, when you look at the weather now, it's difficult to believe that only about 12 hours ago... Christmas and the water often go hand in hand on the Gold Coast, but in a different way today. Reporter Kari Ann Greenbank joins us. Kari, how's the day been there on the coast? Sylvia, it's definitely been wet, but for those who've braved the conditions and taken to the water, it's certainly not been miserable. Now, Sylvia, the wet does look like it's going to stick around for Boxing Day, but let's just hope it gets brighter and sunnier for the new year. Yeah, fingers crossed. Thanks, Kari. Well, crowds also flock to churches across the state to celebrate Christmas and the birth of Jesus Christ. Religious leaders prayed for those who were facing natural disaster and suffering this festive season. What a gorgeous girl. Well, coming up after the break, a Christmas standstill in Europe as storms cripple travel. And the cranky kid not fussed with Santa's presence. Nine News. Fast on River 949 every night at 6. The Queen and the Pope have given their Christmas messages, and this year Queen Elizabeth II focused on uniting the world through sport. And some great moments. Andrew Slack has the Christmas Day sport, and Santa's come to Ricky Ponting. He has silver, he's gift wrapped, the skipper's little finger and Ricky will play the fourth test, although he's unlikely to get many presents from the English bowlers. And no sign of big race nerves as Sydney to Hobart sailors get into the Christmas spirit. Ricky Ponding has declared himself fit for tomorrow's Boxing Day test after surviving another tough practice session. The Australian side will be finalised in the morning once selectors have a final look at the pitch. And if you're not one of the 92,000 at the MCG tomorrow, you can watch the cricket on nine here from 9am. And we're hoping to make it 2-1 for the two Aussies. 2-1 with one to go in Sydney, that'll be the plan, yep. Great, fingers crossed. Well, Bertie's in next with the latest on the weather. Hello there, hope you're having a wonderful Christmas evening. It wasn't a white Christmas, but definitely a wet Christmas. Now, the heaviest falls in the state, Dumbledon up near Mackay, 119 mils since 9am this morning in the southeast. Average of around 15 to 25 millimetres. More tomorrow, 50 to 100. So brace yourselves. A lot of localised flooding, I'm sure, in the low level lying areas for tomorrow. Now, in the city at the moment, it's down to 24 degree temperatures. Humidity is right up there, 83%. Wind south at 2 k's. Across the southeast, minimum temperatures 21 to 22 degrees today. The mercury climbed to 25 at Ipswich, 27 Redcliffe, 28 sunny coast. Satellite shows a lot of cloud across the eastern parts of the state, delivering rain and showers. Now the southeast will see an increase in rain tomorrow due to the upper trough strengthening over the western parts of the state. Charts have been dominated by the low pressure system southwest of Townsville. There's also a strong flow across the top end of the country, bringing a lot of moisture to the state. Capital wet in the southern majors, mostly fine Adelaide, hot and windy in Perth, uh, storms in Darwin and Queensland wet across the entire state with the heaviest falls forecast further south from Bundy to Roma and the southeast. a wet boxing day is in store. Forget about outside activities, lots of rain forecast to fall temp wise, top of 25 sunny coast, 26 Caboolture, Redcliffe, 21 Toowoomba, 25 Thunder for Ipswich, 26 Logan, 25 on the Gold Coast. Now, if you're going boating tomorrow, you're going to have rocks in your head. East nor easterly winds, 10 to 15 knots. It is going to be raining. Seas offshore to 1.7 metres. And in the city, rain and possible local thunder. Winds light to moderate east nor east. It really isn't that flash for a game of backyard cricket. Temps 22 to 26. And looking ahead, now, if you're planning on going camping, 
What sort of Wally would want to go camping in these conditions? Grab a DVD on the outdoors and watch it inside because it's going to rain all Wednesday before clearing at 29 degrees. Now, tomorrow's outside activities will be limited. Personally, I'd be staying inside and uh, polishing off the, all the uh, Chrissy fruit from today. But if you are heading out there tomorrow, here's what's happening. Surfers, I'd be trying those open beaches early. The points as well. Swells are tiny two foot on offer at the moment. Uh, for those who want to get out there and cruise the new Christmas boards, get out nice and early. That'll be your best bet. The beaches, well, I'd be taking the goggles with you as well. Well, swimmers stay between the flags, boaties, one or two words actually, raincoats. Here we have it, the kids are ready, Christmas dinner at the Burt residence and of course my lovely wife's, uh, you could say, handmade eggnog truffles for dessert there. I can tell you, Sylvia, looking forward to it. Back to you. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you and to your little one, it's first Christmas. Well, that's, <laughs> that's our news for you this Saturday. I hope it's been a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy your evening. Good night.